Welcome back. You're watching Overdrive and it's time now for us to take your queries on auto selectors. Sirish joins us as always. Sirish, I can see you've been spending time with the A4. Well, as you can see, this is the same A4. There's no external difference. What it does have is a new engine. It's a 3-litre V6 TDI diesel engine. It makes 240 horsepower and it's got Quattro four-wheel drive. If you remember, the A4 currently is only available with a front-wheel drive option and a 2-litre diesel engine. Now, this has got much more power. It's 240 horsepower and it gives it a 0 to 100 time of under 7 seconds. Just to give you a sense of perspective, the Nissan 370Z, which we tested recently, that did 0 to 100 in 6 seconds. This does it in hardly a second more. And this is a proper four-door, four-seat saloon. And imagine the performance potential of this car. It's time now for us to take our first query. This one comes in to us from Padmanabhan. He writes in from Bengaluru. He says he's 50, he runs his own business. He travels about 150 kilometers a day to his factory. He wants to buy himself a luxury SUV. He's seen what the Volkswagen has launched, and that is, of course, the Touareg. But then he read a month later that a new Touareg is coming out at the end of the year. Does it make sense to buy the Touareg now, or should he play it safe and look at the other three German manufacturers, Touareg or something else, Sirish? What would you suggest? Well, we are also intrigued by Volkswagen India's plans. The Touareg has only been two months since it's been launched in the country. And there's in Geneva, at the Motor Show, there was a new Touareg that has been announced and which will go on sale in Europe and which will come to India by the end of the year. So, to be honest, it doesn't really make sense buying a Touareg because there's a new one coming towards the end of the year. I mean, compared to the competition, the M-Class, the Q7, the BMW X5, those vehicles, those SUVs are superior to the Touareg in most respects in terms of uh, refinement, in terms of comfort, even in terms of styling and the premium badge that they have. So honestly, I wouldn't really suggest a Touareg, at least not right now, at least not till the new Touareg comes towards the end of the year. All right, our next query comes in to us from Madhav. He writes in from Pune. And Sirish, this is the query that we keep getting from a lot of our viewers. Madhav says he currently owns an i10. It's done over 100,000 kilometers. He wants an upgrade. He's got a family of five. So his priorities are good interior room, space for shopping bags, fuel efficiency, and of course, fun to drive factor. He's got a budget of about eight and a half lakh rupees. He wants to buy the Jazz, but his father is inclined towards the Honda City. So should he increase his budget, go for the Honda City or should he go for the Jazz? Well, see, the main uh, talking point is between a hatchback and a sedan is whether you need a boot. If you do a lot of airport runs, you have a lot of suitcases to transport, yes, then a sedan does make sense. But otherwise, for most applications and in, in the city, it makes more sense to have a hatchback because it's compact, it's easier to drive in the city, easier to park. You, know, you find parking space more easily than a sedan. So in most respects, the Jazz would make more sense than the, the city. And also, the Jazz has a lot of space inside and the boot, okay, it's a hatchback, but the boot is huge. It's got a lot of space. You can put two big suitcases in it so it does have a lot of space and because of the flexible seating options and the seat folding options you can fit a lot of stuff into the jazz and the 1.2 liter engine in the city you won't make out the performance difference what you will get is better fuel efficiency from the 1.2 liter engine so in most respects i would suggest the jazz over the honda city except if you need a really huge boot well that wraps up this episode's auto selector do remember to send us your queries to help us get overdrive.co.in you can also visit our facebook page to see what's buzzing time for us to wrap up all the motoring news starting with the launch of the ford figo